Hey, welcome back to some more Minecraft with your green friend here. I am messing around in the city today. Does this look good? Yeah, that blends in pretty well. Uh, give it back. That's not fair. Give it! This is gonna be our fresh produce shop, and I believe this is gonna be where we sell meat. So I'm gonna put produce across here with banner letters, and then I guess butcher across here. Would it be centered? E-R. Yeah. I have been trading my booty off. Um, this isn't even the ones from the vault. I got a stack and a half more, mainly because I put two more villagers in this place. This is gonna be the Rotten Flesh House, so we have a bunch of them in here now. This one will not take this at all. I pick it up and place it. They'll never take it, so they won't refresh this. I realize they won't refresh their trades unless you have something for them to work on. Well, someone mentioned that in the comments. Banner. Where's the banners? Banner. Craft. Where's the banners? Okay, fine, I'll just do it myself. Luckily I have a guy that buys green dye, so um, I could use all of this. I never thought I'd see the day, but I guess we can turn this back on. Oh, this is gonna look good. This D was a little hard, so she said. Um, but I think you, yeah, you have to use that border indentured banner pattern, that's what it's called. Yeah, um, which sucks, I, I think once you find them, you should always stick to your unlocked banner patterns, but you always have to have it in your inventory to use it, which is a little annoying. Even though it doesn't look that good, but I don't think there's any better way to do a letter D. Oh, that looks so much better though. It's bringing this area to life. I guess it would look better if I put butcher right there. Okay, we now have the butcher and produce. I actually love this a lot. You can barely tell that those are banners. Oh, I like it. All right, um, while we're here, I'm gonna finish these two shops because they really need it. This one on the inside, I'm not gonna make like over there. It's just gonna be a strict butcher shop where you come in and pick up some meat or have maybe a cow butchered. So somewhere in here, I'm gonna have some carcasses hanging from the ceiling. I also almost have three stacks of blocks of emeralds now, and that doesn't count the stack that's in my vault already. You know what? I can't wait. I wanna put these away. Business is booming. <laughs> okay, these are not all gonna fit here. I'm gonna have to start putting them out here. I'm gonna need lots of spruce signs. Look at that, that's the first time I've ever had that filled up. And I also have three of them over here. <laughs> now I can start doing real business within Minecraft. Yeah, I didn't think I'd be messing with villagers this much today either, but I am. And I'm happy I am, because I've been going through HE double hockey sticks to get this guy to unlock a certain trade. I've killed many of his kind, but he finally gave me the brown dye trade. Yes. That is important. What am I gonna do here? I don't have what. I'll just take some beds, okay? Yup. Yup. Just give me a bunch of beds. I'm not proud of this, but I'm a rich slime now. I have so many emeralds. Okay, just give me the beds. Just unlock it. Yes! I've been using a lot of my bones to trade the white dye, but if you didn't know, we have the bean co right here. <laughs> oh, there's not as many as I thought. Well, there's quite a bit. Just gotta start harvesting this more. Oh, wait. It's automated. <laughs> kind of. Here you go. I have your brown dye. And the whole reason I'm getting rich with emeralds is so I can buy stuff like this from these guys. I just want to finally have infrastructure in my world where it actually feels like a running city with businesses and trading. I guess we are full on working on the city today because I'm getting pretty excited to work down here. I, I wouldn't mind getting some of these buildings populated. Like, I'm keeping some of my favorite villagers in here, such as the ones with the diamond and emerald badges, because they have decent trades, so... I might as well start making these apartment buildings full of them. Like, these don't all have to be businesses. Like, this one... Well, I think this one was gonna be a business... No, uh, well, yeah, it kinda looks like one. This one is definitely an apartment building. So we got one, two, three... We got three floors in there, so I can definitely fit two or three villagers in there. I'm just ready to finally see this area of my town finished, you know? Well, not necessarily finished, just alive with people and things. Such as the horse care place, too. This is a place where you bring in your horse, and yeah, I can do that today. Maybe. We'll see. <laughs> this building, too? Oh my god. But for the past day, I have been killing villagers like crazy because they like taking things outside of this place, and no one, for the life of me, will be a butcher. 
I have five smokers in here and no one ever- They always become fishermen or leather workers because of the stuff way out there. I just need one butcher for the butcher shop. He's gone. Why is he gone? What? He's gone. No? He's here. <gasps> he freaking- Are you kidding? Wait. What? What'd you do? You're in the butcher shop? No. Wait, what? I'm confused. Where is he? You heard him, right? <laughs> I hear you. I hear you. Here's the butcher shop, by the way. I'm working on it. Are you outside? Speak to me. I heard you. What? <laughs> oh. Oh, no. I knew this would happen. I'm goofy. <laughs> Get out of there, buddy. Oh, I need to... Oh, don't worry. That happens to me a lot, too. Forgot to put stuff in there so when they get out of bed they don't spawn in the corners. <laughs> nice fern, buddy. Oh, you got ice? That's cute. What else you have? Oh, rose. I actually just traded three things with Bob. Gray dye, because I hate collecting ink sacks. He charged two emeralds per pickle. I don't know why I didn't see that, so I bought five. Then some dark oak logs. I, I like the new Bob. He's finally coming around to me. Okay, I finally got a butcher in here. Um... I got a feeling he will never take one of these smokers. I got rid of all his smokers over there, but I've learned if you leave them in a small area with their whatever they're wanting, they will eventually take it. These apartments. Oh, I'm liking these actually. They're turning out all right. So this is going to be a lobby of some sort, but I'm doing the staircases like this. So yeah, this will be this room. These kind of look like <laughs> they don't look too run down. They almost look like a renovated old apartments. Like I'd want to live in one of these. We're getting so many villagers out today. I'm populating this place. I actually forgot I put this bucket in here, or this little thing, to actually put real fish in. I want a salmon. Salmon. There's salmon. I want a big salmon. Why can't I pick them up? Get in here. Oh, I forgot there's all kinds of others. I can get a puffer fish, clown fish, or just tropical. Here you go. Yeah. Looking good. Cut them babies up. These are cows, if you didn't know. So I'm just going to store all the meats in here. Maybe he works with the meat shop down the road there, and he sells all that stuff here. Gimme. You can go free, Cod. <laughs> I don't know how that Cod's still alive. He's been in that bucket for probably a couple years. We need one of these cute fellas. Come here. Come here. Come here. Get over here. You look cool. We could eat you. Oh, look. There's people in there. <laughs> I got a couple villagers in here. Before I go any further, there's so many things I want to fix. I'm just in like a fixing mood. Such so as the back of this, it says motel on the other side. But I want it to say hotel, because this is a hotel, not a motel. And it doesn't say anything on this side. Gotta fix this L right there, because banners mess up pretty occasionally. And then this says bank right here. And it did on the other side as well, but now it says... Oh man. Oh, it messed up even more. You see, this is why I'm worried to fix them. I don't even... I think K was there earlier. Now it's just that. I'm not sure what's wrong with banners, but uh, let's name some villagers real quick. Change this, Minecraft. I just built a brand new anvil, used five name tags. Five name tags and an iron anvil shattered. <laughs> That's so goofy in my opinion. Make anvils only crack when you're repairing tools, you know, actually slamming a hammer on it. Or just build something completely different for naming stuff. I feel like it's weird using the anvil to name stuff. Anyway, you, sir, the butcher, is going to be Gillian Thomas. We buy rotten flesh. Thank you. I finally got the person on the second floor to start selling stuff, but this is going to be Annalisa Arnold, a really new donator who donated last episode. But I'm doing that specifically because this is going to be Nicole Natchaber. And if you didn't know, up here is Abigail Knapp. So this house is ran by three women, and it's a very, like... I guess you can say feminine looking house, so I'm actually okay with that. That's kind of cool to have all three of them there. I'm going to be going to them a lot. I have so much rotten flesh in this world. I kind of made this a little lobby down here to chill and relax. But, uh, we have two more villagers up here. Like I said, I'm naming a lot. No! Good job. You are going to be Carson Reynolds. I come to you a lot because he has the brown dye trade, and I put him specifically next to the bean co. Stick! And then I put another person up here, a dimwit. <laughs> I'm actually gonna make his apartment look pretty boring. I'm gonna do more than this. I just put furniture up for now. It's gonna be Kyle McGee, actually a really old donator. They probably don't watch anymore, but I felt bad, so 
Here you go, Kyle. Got all those signs fixed. That feels a little bit... Be Wait. I should check up on him, though, because it's been a little while. Okay, we're fine. So I've been building the interiors of these buildings, which is actually a really fun process. Being confined in a space and trying to work with what you have is really fun. So this one finally has an interior for... It, this one's very basic. <laughs> I mean, I don't even like this one. I just use tough. And I don't know why I use tough, because I hate the way tough sounds when you walk on it. It's a little obnoxious. I've been working on this one, too. I don't... I'm trying to decide what I want to be in here, so this will be a reception, of course. But uh, this is a slime science building. So I'm thinking I want a bunch of servers up in here, like blinking lights, a lot of my computer monitor maps. I have three different floors, they're all the same size, but I like the size of these rooms, they're quite nice. And then, yeah, leads up here. We even got an outdoor access. Oh, I forgot about this place, too. I build so many build- oh, it's dark up here. Go away. Why'd I never light this up? This will kill my numbers for the mob spawner. And what's the situation with this place? Oh, okay, I was making the lobby. Like I said, I still think I want this to be a Piglin's headquarters that they bought this building, and it just kind of looks trashed on the inside. Speaking of that, by the way, we never go to this prison, so for now, I'm going to gather up all of the Piglin heads that are in here and use them in the city. And then when I get more Piglin heads, we can... Oh, I forgot there was someone out here. Warden Charles Brown. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. Oh, and I forgot I had someone in jail here. What's your name again? Hunter Rigdon. Oh, Hunter. Oh, I'm so sorry, dude. Maybe you'll get out soon and become a member of society again. Hi, I need your head. Thank you. Oh, I forgot I named... Was it Greek names? I think it was. Maybe Her Herald Dag? No, these don't sound too Greek. Inga? That one can stay in there for now. Since this is kind of a tight spot, I might need... I use my rockets too much. I could have simply ran that distance. I'm getting impatient, though. I'm gonna take this. I don't think I can really... I mean, I could put a villager back here, but... Who wants to be a receptionist in here? So maybe I hired some of these guys. Yeah. That kind of looks fine. Alright, I'm working on this building now. If you remember, this was originally going to be a clothes shop where I sell all types of different outfits, mainly pertaining to leather armor, but we're going to use trims as well to make certain outfits, you know. If you notice, we have this really cool sign out here that's been empty forever. And as you can see, I think I'm going to put... I'm going to name this place T's. I wanted something with four letters, and I'm mainly going to have T's in here, like... But the idea is, is I'm going to pick someone from the village donator book that maybe has a name that starts with T, hopefully, and that's just how their shop came to be. They go by the name T, and they call their shop T's. Because they sell T's, and their name starts with T. You get what I'm trying to say. Does that look good? I don't know if that color palette is good. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, I actually really like that. Please don't mess up banners. I'm putting so many banners up today. And I'm thinking I want to start on the sewers soon, so I want to make an even more advanced sewer system than the one at my house. Can you imagine the type of stuff we could have here? Okay, why am I not lighting this stuff up? This is too dark in here. There's too many- uh. What are you guys even looking at? Oh yeah, I like how that glows. I use these trash cans more than you think. <laughs> They're actually really handy. Just to throw crap away that you don't want in your inventory. I think they're a pretty good idea. As well as these dumpsters. I always put a double chest in them in case you want to throw crap away. Such as these broken banners. Do I have dark spots under here? I hear a skeleton. Oh, go figure. I forgot to light this place up too. More junk. Anyway, let's see who is going to be working in the tea shop. Anyone with the name starting with T? Uh-oh. I'm not seeing too many T's. Tom Howard, you're in Skulk Island. You're one of my scientists. Dang it. Aha! Tajash... Tajash Perrick. See, that's a hard name to say, so maybe he just wants to go by the name T. You are an early donator. Do you still watch? Tegan Anderson, you're in the sewer. Okay, I think I'm gonna go with Tajash because that's my only option. Usually, this is how I keep track, by the way. I'll just say... Tease. Tease. <laughs> Any leather workers? That's what I want, right? I want a leather worker? Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, absolutely. I guess I would prefer one that sells decent stuff, but it doesn't really matter. 
Need to figure out what to do with this building, too. It's still yeah. empty. Look, I made a vending machine out of copper. By the way, if you want to know how to write those squares on a sign, all you have to do if you're on a keyboard is press Windows, period, and that will pop up and you can select squares. Ah, he's sleeping. I think this is the setup I'll have in here. It's pretty simple, but this holds a lot of different armor designs, so... Just like my die shop over there, I guess I need to bring some dyes over here too, though. Oh wait, I'll need a lot of cauldrons now, think of it. Ooh, oh wait, but this is the selling level. Okay, so I'm gonna have his cauldrons here for him to work on, and then up here, these, this is gonna be the production level, so I'll have a room full of cauldrons. Hopefully he won't take one of those, though. Here's the thing, he became a leather worker because of cauldrons out here like this, so... Hopefully he will take one of those cauldrons in the middle, but again, it doesn't really matter to me because I'm not gonna come to this guy for trading that much because he doesn't have that much useful stuff. Other than that, that's all right. But yeah, I'll bring armor trims, leather, and dyes and cauldrons up here so we can actually have some fun and make some stuff when we need to. This is one of my favorite light designs in the game. It's so simple yet so futuristic looking. Because you can have the normal Two wide ones, which is my favorite, like that, or when you need to expand it, you can simply do that. Make it three wide. Don't go up there. It's off limits. Dang it. Speaking of these lights, as you can see, I did it around here quite a while ago. I need to continue it around this side because one thing I'm really wanting this city to look like is just really lit up at night. I can tell already I'm gonna have so many issues with future villagers. They're all gonna be leather workers. But this is worth it, I think, or maybe no, it's not worth it. No, it's worth it. I was gonna say, maybe I can just have one cauldron and dye it whenever I need to. Yeah, this isn't worth it. This isn't worth it. I was about to head up to my storage room and waste so much leather on leather armor. But, a whole nother reason for all of this down here. Uh, a lot of this is damaged, but towards the end I started combining all of the armor, like this. Oh man, I have so much leather armor down here. I've already wiped out all these barrels and all of these chests right here of the rotten flesh. So I finally have a lot more room down here. So yeah, I believe I'm just gonna have something like this. This is obviously meant for me because that villager's not gonna do crap other than scam me for emeralds. So yeah, we have infinite water source here. I'll put dyes up in this chest once I get some to bring over here and then brought all the leather armor to play around with there and we can start creating outfits like suits and ties or Santa Claus outfit and then that means this doesn't need to go well. Keep one simple leather outfit out here like he's gonna sell that. But once I start making them, I can start putting them on all these stands. And then for whatever reason I might need one in the future, I'll come here. There you go. To Josh Perrick. I'll just call you T. Because this is T's. You know, it's crazy. When the crafter was announced, I was like, I'm gonna use this so much. We've had this in the game for how long now? Through experimental features and I've, I haven't even touched it. Again, though, I'm not amazing at redstone. I, I know these are pretty simple. You just need to have a clock connected to... Okay, so this is what I'm talking about. When my game freezes every once in a while, can't interact with anything for, like... Now you get to see what I'm always dealing with. I don't know why it does this. I'm st I still think it has to do with maybe too many villagers. Oh, there's everything. And now I have an open... <gasps> you can see inside! There's nothing in there! <laughs> I want this update so bad. I want it so bad. I got a feeling it's full release is probably two to three weeks away. Maybe even longer than that, but we'll see. I'm gonna answer this while I work on some stuff. From Undercover Pineapple, if you could choose to be any other character in the game, no longer a slime, what would you choose to be? My skin is a cat. You're a cat, huh? I could get down with that because, well, I, I'm a big fan of Skyrim. So like I would see it as a Khajiit. <laughs> How am I gonna do this? I, I already forgot. Oh, this is complicated. I forgot. I can do it. Just gotta erase it all and start over. By the way, if you're doing this, it's important to know you have to enter 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And then you have to exit out and press enter because if you do any more, it'll put a dash right here. And that's not nice. So yeah, you exit out of that and then you press enter and then you start over by pressing Windows and period. I don't know how to do this on mobile. Just being honest, I haven't played mobile in years, as you may know. So these are five wide, so you kind of have to one, two, three, and then you have one, two, three, four, five, six. And then I want to get rid of these three in the middle, so you go one, two, three backspaces, and then one, two, three, four, five, six spaces. So you can kind of see the letter 
starting to form now. But if you didn't know, I actually, for one episode, changed my skin once. And that was because I was kind of tired of being a slime. I felt like everyone was being a mob in a game. And for that one episode, I kept my adventure jacket on, but I changed, I wasn't a slime anymore. I was like a normal human and I actually loved that skin. I made myself with a beard. I don't remember what episode it was, but I bet you could probably type like new Dallas 65 new skin or something. I'm not really sure. But yeah, if I were to choose again, if I were no longer a slime, I would just go back to a normal human because it's, I just kind of like it. I like feeling like me in video games. There we go. Hotel. But I eventually, like the next episode, changed back to a slime because I was like, I put two years of a slime into the lore of my world. I was like, this is kind of goofy to, you know, restart it. But yeah, even now, I'm so far into this that I just oh, I already have signs there. I would never change it, but if I did, I would just go back to a normal person. Well, my friends, this was a fun episode of working on Whitner Avenue right up and down through here. This was really fun. I think I'm going to work on this next. So I'm going to build the floors and then I need to find a way to make maybe I'll break some glass. That's what I'll do. Maybe I Ooh, okay. I can make a custom flag, like a big one, like a big banner made out of wool. Maybe they drooped that over the top and it's like tattered at the bottom. This is what I'm imagining here. And maybe it'll have like the Piglin logo on it. Ooh, I might do something like that. But I am ending it here. Thank you everyone for watching so much. I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.